In this video, you will learn how to change the y-axis values or vertical axis values in line graph in Microsoft Excel. You can use similar method for bar graph as well. You will learn how to change maximum values as well as minimum values and major units as well as minor units in Microsoft Excel graph. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will select this data. To insert a line graph, after selecting this, go to insert. And under chart, you will find the option of insert line or area chart. Click here and select first one. Now you can see here we have successfully generated a line graph. Now we will explore other options how to edit these y-axis values. Firstly, I will select this one. Firstly, I am interested to change the maximum values to 65,000 instead of 70,000. For that purpose, click on y-axis. A border will be appeared around the y-axis values. It shows that you have selected the y-axis values. After doing that, place your cursor here. Right click and you will find the option of format axis. Click on this option. Now here under the bounds, you will find the option of minimum and maximum values. I will select 65,000 instead of 70,000. After doing that, Place your cursor anywhere in blank cell. You can see here I have selected this one. And the values are changed from 70,000 to 65,000. Similarly, you can also change the minimum values. For example, I want to change the minimum values to 25,000. I will select this one. Right click. Again, go to this format axis option. And in format axis option, you will find the minimum and maximum value. Currently, you can see here the minimum value is minus 5000. I will change it to 25000. After changing, click anywhere in sheet. And you can see here the values is changed to 25,000. Now you will learn how to adjust the difference between these two values. Currently you can see here the difference between these values is 5,000. I will select this one, right click, go to format axis option. And under units you can see here the major and minor units option is there. And in major units you can see here the difference is 5000. So Excel has displayed these values according to this difference. If I change it to 10,000. I will click here. Now you can see here the difference between these two values is 10,000 instead of 5000. So by doing so you can easily adjust the difference between these two values. Again, click here, right click, go to format axis option. And here you will find the option of minor units. Minor unit shows the number of tick marks between these two major values. For example, if I scroll down and go to tick mark option. From here, I will select major type on outside and minor type on outside now in major unit you can see here the difference between two tick marks is 2000 and it will display five tick marks one two three four five similarly if i change it to 5000 then it will show only two tick marks click here now you can see here only two tick marks shown here. So by doing so, you can easily adjust the maximum values, minimum values, as well as the major and minor units. And if you want to change the horizontal axis values, then we have already uploaded a video on that topic. You can watch that video. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.